Hooked on in the middle, Brown JB. and Pike are in there. Oh, look at this. Carr. They're swinging them. Jonathan Brown giving it to Josh Carr. Collins. Jonathan Brown just gone with a big right hook across it's the on, top. It's on. Jonathan Carr Brown. Brown has just nailed Carr with the biggest right hook from what, downtown. Carr was throwing him too. Don't worry about that. First oh, boy. I think it all stemmed from Kane, actually. I think Kane was doing the, the job. Well, I know he, he had the job to, to, on Simon Black. And Blackie didn't obviously like the way that Kane was playing on him, and um, it started from there. And there was a little bit of a, uh, a melee there. And before I knew it, I had Jonathan Brown, you know, grab me, and um, and then another two seconds later, I, I wore a left on the jaw. I actually started that um, because uh, Simon Black punched me in the stomach. He ended up getting suspended for two weeks, so I was being a bit of a pest as I always was, and. And Blackie punched me, and, and Curry came in to defend me as he as he often did, and that's what started the, the scuffle. So I think I was flat on my back, probably staging for a free kick and trying to get the ball. But um, yeah, apologies to Curry for starting that one. Ugly incident, if you like, nothing much in it. Oh, wow, Jonathan Brown, oh, two left. beautiful left and rights. It looked like to Josh Carr, and uh, that started with uh, Black and Kane Corns having a very spirited pushing and wrestling match. So he'll get he'll get 11 weeks, Jonathan Brown. I think Curry threw one, but it missed him because you know Curry a little midget, <laughs> and like Brown is up here somewhere. You know, I've had that question fired at me for the last 10 years about well, what were you thinking, you know, trying to take on Jonathan Brown. I was like, I didn't take on Jonathan Brown. He's coming. He, he's coming. Found me. And <laughs> it's Curry who got his ambitions mixed up with his ability, but uh, oh look, Curry's a tough man and. Uh, you know, that, that's why I loved playing with a guy like Josh Carr. He he uh, took everything head on, you know, didn't care what size the guy was, was just an ultimate competitor and I think he was one of the great Port Adelaide players. I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter what happens in this game, but I would think Jonathan Brown might have a late start to the season next year after seeing that replay. Yeah, there was a nice left hook thrown oh. and it connected. Bang, there it is, Josh Carr doing well to uh, be still standing. Now, any number of Brisbane supporters and any opposition team would have loved to have had that opportunity to build him. And um, yeah, it, it was just—it just shows like it, uh, having that little bit of niggle that you, you know when you force a player of Brown's caliber to to lash out like that, you know you you mentally you're getting on top of them or you're, you're under their skin. You, know, you, you see the the Brownie big swing come from you know three deep in, 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 the, in the stands and. It, it clocked him one, but um, to Curry's credit, he, he stood there and it's funny because you, you watch the replay and Brownie and, they, and they're kind of thinking the same thing at the same time. Quick, I've got to get the first one in or else I'm going to get, get, get snorted here. So Car is a fraction a little bit late, but he had the, he had the, he had the reach advantage, Brownie. But I saw uh, big Johnny, John O'Brown and, and little Josh Carr going at it, but I, I must say, I mean, Curry didn't take a backward step, he was fine and, and it was good to see him stand up and, and, and the rest of the boys in that little situation there which was a message back to him, hey we're not, we're not messing around, we're going to give it right back, we're going to give you more. And he's their best tagger of course and uh, Carr as well. Oh, oh, well. One of my, one of my favourite uh, photos is you know, Brownie with his fist right next to uh, Carrie's jaw. And, Curry's been involved in a few fights, as we know, back to uh, the incident down at uh, the Ramsgate, and uh, you know he's pretty tough. So uh, it, it was fantastic that he didn't get knocked out, didn't break his jaw. All those things could have happened, and uh, it might have changed the events. But uh, um, we, we were telling the uh, you know the old boys, if you like, of Brisbane and the, the ones that are the experienced at AFL uh, Grand Finals that uh, we're up to it and we're uh, up for the fight and. Uh, it was fantastic. You know, they're, they're as hard a team as anyone. They had some genuine tough guys on their football team and that's why they had so much success through them years. So um, uh, kudos to Kari, absolutely. And, um, you know, it was one of, them, one of them real great moments in the game, wasn't it?